Welcome back to the League of Hustlers, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to know a tried and true investment strategy? All right. That's what we're going to talk about today on the League of Hustlers. I'm your co-host, HT. I'm C.D. Barnes. Let's get ready to prepare to prosper. All right, let, we're going to queue up a clip, and this was posted on our uh, social platforms, right? It's a clip of Kevin O'Leary Leary, and some investment advice, right? As always, make sure that you consult with your financial advisor. This is not investment advice. Make sure you do your own due diligence, okay? So uh, let's queue this up real quick. And check this out. If you're not following us on, on, on socials, man, go ahead and head over uh, and check us out, man. We post dope content like this all the time. All right. Um, so let me just play. Let me give you a, something my mother taught me. This is crazy, but boy, does it ever work. I was like 15, 16 when she gave me this advice. And she was not a stock market analyst or anything. She just was mm -hmm. really savvy with money. She said, here's the deal. Put 40% of your net worth in fixed income like okay. bonds okay even as a young person even as a young person okay, okay. and then the rest 60 percent in all in, in all the rest is in the s p now at her time there was only 10 sectors in the s p mm. real estate was not one of them but now it is we have 11 sectors in the s p no more than 20 percent in any one sector no more than five percent in any one stock and this is genius advice because I've used it my whole life. And this really fucking works. Mm. So when you have these big corrections, you're so protected with diversification. So the, the max I have in real estate is 20%. And I own a lot of real estate. That's my no. biggest weighting. So okay. I own a lot of real estate. But I own a lot of stocks too. But no stock is more than 5% of my net worth. And when it gets like an Apple takes a run or Tesla takes a run, I turn it back every 90 days. And then when that takes a shit, it's I've already got all my money out of it. And I swear to you, every stock will one day have a massive correction. This is the way yeah. it works. Yeah. So if you listen to my mother, thank you, mom, hmm. you go 40 fixed income, 60 equity, and no more than 5% in any one stock, no more than 20% in any one sector. You know, energy is a sector, technology is a sector, real estate is a sector. That's how you do it. And that's how you preserve your wealth. Woo! <laughs> wow. Wow. That Let's unpack this a little bit, just a little bit, right? So if you don't know who Kevin O'Leary is, he is a multimillionaire, right? And um, an investor. He's, of course, a part of Shark Tank, uh, one of the judges on there, one of the one of the sharks, as they call him. He's been um, in some of the most lucrative buyouts, um, including, um, I think, Shutterstock or, or Shutterfly bought a company he was involved in called Groove Book or something like that. And then a start engine is another one that's going on right now. Um, just an all around, you know, dope investor, right. Um, that has made hundreds of millions of dollars and built his network up pretty substantially. Right. So this isn't some random guy or some influencer just, you know, spitting out a random investment strategy. Right. Um, this is a tried and, and true method that this multi-millionaire uses to this day All right what do you think about that cd um yeah number one man it's really great that you know we have access to this type of information from you know a big investor on this level so this right. is a great a great strategy um one of the key things though that um stood out to me was the every 90 days part. He says every 90 days, you know, he kind of um, looks at it and makes adjustments and pu make pullbacks where needed, right? With, right? And every 90 days is essentially once per quarter. It's kind of right. like adjusting your portfolio for market corrections. And so right. even, even outside of, you know, the percentage breakdowns, you get another piece of advice in looking at, okay, how often are you rebalancing or readjusting, you know, for the market pullbacks and things? Because just like you said, right, um, every stock, every, you know, everything is going to have a correction at some point in time. 
And so it's kind of right. like, even that part, man, it's just a lot of really good information in this very small clip. Right. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's look at this, man. Let's unpack this. Cause when I first, um, saw the clip, I was like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and I took out a piece of paper just to try right. and break it down. You know what I mean? But it makes total sense, right? It's reducing your risk, right? And then allowing you to be diversified across a number of different stocks and a number of different sectors, right? So let's look at this. Okay, first up, he said 40% in fixed income and then 60% in equity. What does that mean? Fixed income are things uh, that provide a set amount of income off of that investment right yeah these are things such as bonds treasury bonds uh notes bills municipal bonds corporate bonds agency bonds right the list goes on certificate of deposits um annuities preferred stocks convertible bonds savings bonds okay that's considered fixed income all right so those types of things you want to put or what he suggests is to put 40 percent, no more than 40 percent in those right and then the 60 percent in equity what is equity this is like ownership in a company i.e stocks right um the then he says no more than 20 percent in any one sector out of that 60 percent so now you have this 60 percent and no more than 20 percent in any one sector what are the sectors they're listed right here. Technology, healthcare, financial services, consumer uh, discretionary, consumer staples, energy, industrials, utilities, materials, real estate, and communication services. So those are the stock sectors. And he's saying no more than 20% in any one sector. Okay? Are y'all following us? In the comments, drop a thumbs up if you're following along and if this makes sense to you okay then what was he say for, for the next piece no more than five percent in any one stock right so let's say for example if uh, one of your sectors is technology right so your total out of your total bag the individual stocks that you have in that sector none of those should uh go beyond five percent of your total investment in your equity portfolio right right and so again even so that that's even further diversification so now you're diversified across the sectors and even inside of the sectors you're diversified across the individual companies in that sector right right so Good you stuff. know yeah that gives you even more diversification and look just looking at the whole 60 40 mm -hmm. um you know this works for him and it's been great for him according to him but there's not there's other strategies as well keep that in mind right but this is a really good example for you to model your personal portfolio after you could be more aggressive uh, more moderate or even more cautious right, right. so the the 40 percent the fixed income side this the way that I'm looking at this is is you know that's like your this is I would say this is kind of moderate but leaning a little bit more so that extra ten percent the six or sixty for the equity mm -hmm. side is right. is more aggressive on that so it's just slightly you know aggressive but well balanced with having a forty percent on the fixed income because that is stuff that you know is going to work for you it's fixed right um you know your um what you're going to receive is set at the beginning you know based on how much you put in and the length of time that it's set to to be in that particular investment right right and that bro i'm 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 aggressive mm -hmm. <laughs> with, with a lot of things especially now you know i guess while we're quote unquote younger you know we're right right not so young <laughs> anymore but I'm like, nah, I'm going balls to the wall. I'm like, right. you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me, so so I, I like this 60%, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would even go like 70. 70, you know right. I mean? But, you know, that's that's <laughs> just me, right? Right, um, right. And, and I, I think I need to learn to be more 
you know, careful with my risk. That's one right. thing that I need to work on. Cause I'm like, yeah, go charge. You know what I'm saying? So, so cool, man. So, so, so let's look at, um, what stocks, let's look at some top stocks that are in each sector. sector All right. Yeah. So here's a list of the top five stocks in each of those sectors. Right. And, Remember, under the 60% equity, he said no more than 20% in any one sector, okay? And then no more than 5% in any one stock. So what does that look like? That looks like a, out of your equity 60%, you should have no more or no less than three sectors, Okay, follow me. You should have no less than three sectors, right? This is so you stay diversified. Why? Because stocks will crash, right? It just happens. So looking at what are the top five stocks in each of those sectors that we just mentioned, okay? I'm not going to read this whole list, but here are some just to name a few, okay? In technology, you have companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, um, Meta, which used to be Facebook, okay? Um, in healthcare you have johnson and johnson pfizer you have um merck and co right uh what, what else we have here um real estate you know um simon property group public storage american tower corporation um utilities right duke right. energy uh, dominion energy um consumer staples so you got stuff like walmart pepsi nestle procter gamble and so these are all companies you know about. And um, I know for me, looking at it and split up by sectors like this mm -hmm. gives it, it gives me a better idea, right? Of like, okay, I know I want to be in technology, real estate, and healthcare, or I may want right. to be in energy, utilities, and consumer staples. So even just having the, the sector breakdown, you know. Um, you can pick, all right, which sectors do you favor the most as far as investing? And then from there, you yeah. go in and make your picks. Which companies do you like? Exactly. Which, not even which companies would do you like, which companies do you want to own? All right. You because can believe in, right? Yeah. Because when you're buying a stock, you're you're taking a portion of ownership in these companies. Right. All right. This is about ownership. And so equity. That's what it's meant by right. equity. And so do you want to own this company? Right. Yeah. And, and and so again, remember, let's go back real quick. Fixed income, bonds, treasury bonds, municipal bonds, et cetera, et cetera. Certificates of deposits, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Then 60% equity ownership, no less than 20% or no more than 20% in any one stock or any one sector, I'm sorry, no less than 20% in any one sector, and then no less than, am I saying that right? <laughs> no, it's less, less than or equal to, right? So essentially, right, so it's, yeah, so it's no more than 20% in any one sector. There you go, there you go. So basically you need at least three sectors in that 60%, right? So you would come over, Look at all the different sectors, okay. And shout out to uh to uh Ian from Red Panda, right? He one thing that he talks about a lot is I can't remember his last name. What's Ian's last name? I don't I can't remember. Know. He's also called calls himself the uh the master investor, right? But one thing he talks about is just picking the top companies, right? Because you is know it Dunlap? Dunlap, yeah, Ian yeah, Dunlap, there you go. yeah. Yeah, appreciate it. He talks about just picking the top companies in those sectors. Again, consult with a fin financial advisor, but it's one of those things where you know these companies um, perform year over year over year over year. You see what I'm saying? So right. these are Believe big it. companies. Yes, they may take a hit, but that's why you diversify your portfolio. You see what I'm saying? But on average, if you set your portfolio up right you should do well right and this is a strategy to do it again not financial advice consult a financial advisor 
All right. Anything else, bro? We're coming up on like 15 minutes for this episode. No, I think that's it, man. That's tons of information. You know, definitely, you know, take a look at the sectors, pick what you like. You know, what what sectors do you believe in? And then select your companies. And then there you go. You have a clean cut strategy from a a well-known investor that's doing well for himself. All right. Yeah, man. So. And as always, we hope this episode helped. If it did, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and drop us a line in the comments. Hit us up if you have questions. Um, at questions at leagueofhustlers.com. You know, when we find good information like this, we like to bring it to you and um, just share knowledge to build wealth so that you can prepare to prosper. That's what we're all about. All right. Until next time, we out. Let's get it. Let's go. Follow for more. Chill.